This video has been long overdue. Ever since I started my career, I wanted to make a what's in my camera bag video. But things turned out not as planned. I started my career in 2017 and by 2018, I was exhausted and frustrated. So I took the heavy step finally and left the career for good. But the good thing is, I still own the cameras that I've collected over the years. And since I've started my YouTube channel, I thought of why not make a what's in my camera bag video today. But before I start, I just want to put it on record that all the stuff you see in the video is not just owned by me but jointly owned by me and my good friend Akshay. He's still a photographer, a very good wedding photographer. So if you want to see his work, I'll just put his Instagram link in the description and you can check him out. So finally, without further ado, let's begin. So the most important thing in my camera bag right now is the camera itself. So I own a Canon 5D Mark IV. So it's one of the most important and one of the best cameras that I've owned up till now. All the recent 3 to 4 videos you have seen have been shot on this camera. The other two cameras that I own is the Sony A6300. It's really lightweight, it's really great. It's, if you're traveling, it's a really great pocket friendly camera you can carry. Also it's good for vlogging too. And the video quality is just superb on that. And the other, and last but not the least, I also own a GoPro Hero 6 which is most probably used for motorway. Moving on to lenses, the first lens I want to note is the kit lens which I got with the 5D Mark IV and that is the 24-105. It's an L series lens, the build quality is just perfect. The glasses inside are top notch and the lens is best for taking generic pictures and videos. You can also shoot a vlog with this lens and also a normal video like this one. And since it's an L series lens, the picture quality or the video quality is just top notch. The next one is obviously the lens which every other DSLR guy owns after buying his first camera. Yes, I am talking about the Nifty 50, the 50mm 1.8. That's the lens which I highly recommend for anyone who is starting his career in photography. One, because it's the cheapest lens of all and the quality is just perfect. It doesn't have stabilization but it works really well and the pictures you get or the videos you shoot are just high quality. Since it's a higher aperture lens, you get a blurred background and the quality also feels premium. So if you want to start your career in photography or videography, I highly recommend this lens. Moving on to another lens which we own is the 85mm 1.8. So this lens is really great. If you want to take your level of photography or notch higher, then I highly recommend you buying this lens. It's a little bit expensive than the 50mm, but the quality is really great. The 85mm is a 1.8 aperture lens. Even this lens doesn't have stabilization. If you want stabilizers in both these lenses, then you have to go for the L series lens, which costs in lakhs. But the 85mm lens hardly costs around 26 to 28,000. So this is a really great lens, and this lens especially is used for taking portraits. So if you're interested in going for portrait photography, then I highly recommend this lens. And the most important lens of all, which I use to record all my videos right now, is a 35mm Sigma 1.4. So it's a brilliant lens, the build quality is just perfect and the bokeh you get is top notch. Also the 1.4 really helps in taking premium videos and the overall quality, look and feel, the photo quality, the video quality, everything is top notch. So it's really really great and I highly suggest this lens because you get a wide angle and it really helps in videos as well as taking wide angle photos with proper bokeh. So this is the lens, this is another lens that I highly recommend. And last but not the least, a very generic lens, which I thought of not putting in this video, but still, uh, I, I do have this lens, and it's the Sony 17 to 55 3.5. So this is the kit lens that I got with Sony A6300, and it's a good lens. It's very generic for taking like random photos, or if you want to vlog, then it's a really great lens. So. Wrapping up with lenses, let's move on to the miscellaneous things that are there in my bag. So I've got extra batteries, chargers, SD cards and also the most important is the external flash. With the external flash, I've also got an external trigger, a wireless trigger for the external flash and also some color filters for the flash. This helps in really getting creative shots of people using those color filters. 
and before wrapping up, how can we forget about the bag? So currently we own a Vanguard. I don't know the model name, but it's it's quite a manageable bag. The colors inside are quite bright, but that's not a problem. But still, it's a good bag, and you can carry. I can carry most of my stuff in this bag, and I've been carrying it for three years. So the build quality is okay, but still, it's quite doable for the price we get. So before wrapping up, I just want to make a note. All these gears were collected over the years and not at once. So we did hard work. We we did photography continuously for one and a half year, and we collected money, and then we bought these lenses. Also, even if I had left for photography as a career, I still pursue it as my passion. You can check out my Instagram page. You can see all the photos which I've collected over the years. And that's about it. So I hope you like this video. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you do support me in this journey. So thank you guys and bye bye.